In this video, we are going to talk about the strangest animals that appeared in ancient myths. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Since ancient times, we have been fascinated with supernatural, mystical, and godlike beings. And they've influenced art and folklore. It's possible that these mythical monsters were based on real life from the mighty dragon to the soaring phoenix. These entities still thrill, terrify, delight, and inspire us. Some, like the Loch Ness Monster or Sasquatch, are still searched after. While the origins of fantastic beings are widely debated, they have played important roles in human culture, stimulating the imagination and yearning to experience more than the real world. Their physical reality is secondary to their existence in the thoughts of so many people throughout history. Number 10. The Legendary Kraken The Kraken is an enormous sea creature from Scandinavian mythology that assaults ships and is so big its body might pass for an island. The half guffa sea mist, and the Lingbacker sea monster, first referenced in the 13th century Icelandic saga, Heather Back, the half guffa is believed to be a kraken reference. The kraken was even recognized in scientific books, such as the first edition of Corollus Linnaeus Systema Naturae, 1735, a taxonomic classification of living species. He named the kraken Microcosmus marinus, a cephalopod, a strange creature that is claimed to inhabit the Norwegian seas. Linnaeus described it in his later work, Fauna Suesica, 1746. Many historians believe the kraken tails arose from enormous squid sightings, which can exceed 59 feet, 18 meters, in length. Number 9. Grendel, the Beast of Hrothgar As one of the most important works of Anglo-Saxon literature, Beowulf is situated in Scandinavia. The epic poem narrates the narrative of Beowulf, a hero who saves Hrogger, the Dane's ruler, by fighting Grendel, a monster tormenting Hrogger's enormous meat hall and threatening the entire realm. The Great Hall Hrogger Commission did exist, and it was placed in Lydra, 23 miles, 37.01 kilometers, west of contemporary Copenhagen. It is unknown if Grendel, literally the destroyer, originally represented a malicious spirit responsible for disease and death, or a particularly powerful human antagonist. Number 8. Mythological Kappa the Kappa is a Japanese water demon that haunts rivers and lakes and devours wayward children. The Kappa has the body of a tortoise, a beak, and limbs of a frog, with a hole filled with water on top of his head. While they are mostly aquatic, they are said to occasionally land. The Kappa must keep his head wet as he exits the sea or he loses his powers. The Kappa is a well-known Japanese folk mythology, and many people believe it is real. In fact, Signs warn of their presence near several Japanese lakes. Others believe the tradition is linked to sightings of the aggressive Japanese giant salamander, or Hanzaki, which is known to capture victims with its formidable jaws. Number 7. The Legend of Nian. Legend has it that the Chinese New Year began with a battle against a mythical beast called Nian, which had the body of a bull and the head of a lion. It was known to be a vicious mountain hunter, Nian would come to the villages on the first day of the new year to eat animals, crops, and even residents, especially youngsters. Every year, the villagers put food in front of their doorways to defend themselves. It was believed that once the Nian ate their meal, it would stop attacking people. Fearful of red, fire, and loud noises, the people learned that the vicious Nian was only scared of three things. The locals would hang red lanterns and spring scrolls on windows and doors to welcome the new year. They frightened the Nian with firecrackers. Nian never returned to the villages. According to mythology, Hong Jun Laozu, an ancient Taoist monk, seized Nian and made him his horse. In the next year, the practice of banishing Nian was repeated. And the habit of celebrating the new year with firecrackers, loudness, and the color red has endured. Number 6. Naga, the Water Deity. This mythical aquatic serpentine creature lives in oceans, rivers, lakes, and falls. Black-scaled nagas can grow to hundreds of feet in length. To the nagas, water deities are personified, and they bring rain and clouds. They protect temples and holy places. Most Kaliyatran believe the greater god guides the nagas' movements, 
And these sea serpents are called Maharaja Sarpa and Naga who is God. Nagas are said to live in underground cities, speak, control the weather, and even take on humanoid shape at will. Number 5. The Tradition of the Piazza. The Piazza bird mythology predates European exploration. It was created by a band of Illiniwek Indians who lived north of present-day Alton. These people were happy until the big beast came. Described by French missionary priest Jacques Marquette in 1673 as huge as a calf, with horns like a roebuck, fiery eyes, a beard like a tiger, and a horrible appearance. The tail was so long that it wrapped around the body, over the head, and between the legs, finishing like a fish. Worldwide traditions of huge birds and dragons echo the Illini tribes. The Dakota tribe believed thunder was a gigantic bird flying through the air, huge enough to carry humans. Several carved and painted dragons have been found in Indian Buddhist caves that meet Piyasa's description. Some have questioned whether the so-called mythological monster was a real-life ancient bird species. It's odd that so many nations and groups of people have comparable tales about huge flying creatures. Number 4. The Menhune of Hawaii. The Menehune are an ancient race of small stature people who lived in Hawaii before Polynesians arrived. Many experts link ancient Hawaiian constructions to the Menehune. Others say that the Menehune traditions are post-European encounter mythology and no such race existed. The Menehune mythology dates back to the dawn of Polynesian civilization. They unearthed dams, fish ponds, roadways, and even temples erected by the Menehune, who were master craftsmen. Some of these structures still stand, displaying expert craftsmanship. Legend has it that each Menehune was a master of a specific skill and performed a specific role with accuracy and expertise. They would leave at dusk to build something overnight, and if they failed, they would abandon it. None of the Hawaiian islands have ever yielded any skeletal remains of a small race of people. While this doesn't show a race of tiny people existed, it does cast doubt on the legend's veracity. Though the archaeological evidence and the various traditions passed down through centuries imply that a highly competent race of humans lived on the Hawaiian Islands long before the Polynesians arrived. Number 3. Sipactli, the Aztec Creator. The Aztecs of Mexico believed that the Earth was created when a great sea demon named Sipactli was created by the gods and destroyed. Sipactli has been described as a crocodile with toad and fish traits, a sea demon, or a monster. Among other things. Regardless of the description, the Aztecs regarded this asexual sea creature as the creator of the universe. Sipactli's hunger was insatiable, and each of the creature's joints had a mouth. The gods quickly understood that their other creations would fall into the vacuum and be devoured by the demon as they began the process of creation, so they resolved to destroy Sipactli. Before the gods were able to slay the monster, Tezcatlipoca drew it in and lost a foot to its ravenous thirst. Sipakli fought valiantly, but the gods ultimately triumphed. Sipakli's body was yanked in four ways, freeing the universe. The heavens and the earth, as well as everything on them, were produced from Sipakli's body by Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl. The head of the beast was transformed into the thirteen heavens, the tail into the underworld, and the center becoming the earth. Number 2. The Majestic Griffin The griffin is a mythical creature with an eagle's head and wings and a lion's body, tail, and hind legs. The griffin was seen as a powerful and majestic monster, similar to how the eagle was regarded as the king of the birds and the lion was regarded as the king of the beasts. The griffin was revered as a protection against evil, witchcraft, and defamation under the Persian Empire. While griffins are most commonly associated with ancient Greek art and mythology, there is evidence of griffin representations in ancient Persia and Egypt dating back to the 4th millennium BC. Archaeologists discovered griffins in frescoes in the throne room of the Bronze Age Palace of Knossos dating from the 15th century BC on the Greek island of Crete. Number 1. China's Four Mythological Creatures the sky ecliptic was divided into four divisions in ancient Chinese astronomy. The 28 homes were made up of seven parts, each of which comprised seven mansions. The 28 mansions are comparable to Western astronomy's zodiacal constellations, however, 
They mirror the moon's passage during a sidereal month rather than the sun's in a tropical year. This allowed the ancient Chinese to chart the sun's and moon's travel paths, as well as determine the time and seasons. The four symbols are mythological creatures who have been attributed to each region of the sky. The azure dragon of the east, the white tiger of the west, the black tortoise of the north, and the vermilion bird of the south are the creatures in question. Each of the four symbols is surrounded by mythological connotations in addition to their astronomical significance. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.